What is up guys? So this is the easiest way to make an EXP system in Dreams PS4. You can go to my channel, click on my channel below here, and then go to my channel playlist for individual tutorials and logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. If you're stuck or if you're rushed on time, a lot of it you can learn in 20, 10 minutes or less. So let's get your ER, let's get your RPG started. First, I want to show you guys the level. There's this variable called level. There's this variable called EXP connected to a counter that's a counter how much exp to level up the result for that is connected to a timeline connected to a variable modifier and connected to a, another variable modifier these two variable modifiers this one increases the level by one so whenever you get the exp required to level up it'll increase your level by one this is your level you can you should have this started out as one i have it started out as zero and then it resets your EXP to zero. Now you don't have to do this if you're gaining enough EXP to where it's a challenge. The timeline starts whenever the result plays. Within the timeline, it adds the EXP required, adding required EXP, which is this variable right here. It adds 100 whenever it's powered on. Within this timeline, you can add other things like attack boost, how much attack uh, is gained per level or speed, how much speed is gained for a level, how much defense you gain for level, and so on. You can put this all within this timeline, and that's what this variable pretty much represents. This variable represents a bad guy for if you were to kill a bad guy, this is how much EXP you would gain from killing that bad guy. This right here is the exp required for a level up connected to a calculator because it seemed like i needed to connect it to a calculator on both the on the left a side and then on the right a side it's connected to a counter the current counter count so the current counter count is actually this which increases whenever you gain a level within the timeline this bottom part is held within this calculator right here, how much EXP required. So the top part, you have to gain this much EXP in order to get a result and in order to level up. You have to gain 50 EXP in order to get a level up and cause the results for the timeline, the variable modifier to, vari to modify your level by one and to Reset your EXP if you want to do it that way to zero. All whenever it's powered on, the result makes it power on. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Let's go ahead and try to defeat some bad guys. So I'm going to make sure it's on play. Make sure your stuff's on play whenever you're testing this stuff out. I want my, uh, I want the easy bad guys to be easy, so I'm going to set it to 4.5. We're killing about 10 or 12 of these to get a level up. We got our first level up, level one. Let's see if the counter increased from 50. It increased from 50 to 150 because within the timeline, it makes it to where it adds 100 whenever it's powered on. And it powers on because it's in the timeline. The timeline runs over it through the playhead and that's why it powers on. Then it can increase your other variables such as attack speed, whatever. So let's kill another round of bad guys. Two hundred fifty. We got a level of. Let's see if we get to two. It went to two. So as you can see, it's getting harder, and we're still defeating some simple enemies. So let's go ahead and see what happens whenever we fight harder enemies that give you more EXP. We get level faster. We should be at level three. And this is how you can do it. So just put a variable like this whenever you defeat an enemy. You can either put it inside of a timeline, and the timeline is connected to something like this. So whenever the bad guy has zero health, no health, it can either be put in there like that. I'm not sure if this will make it 
like represent what I'm trying to do. Yeah, well, and whenever it's powered on, it'll give you some EXP. You can do it like that. Just make sure your cooldown is at zero whenever you're doing this. Or you can also put it, use a counter for your bad guy's EXP. I mean, your bad guy's health. You can also use a counter for that. So every time it takes damage, this can increase by one if you wanted to do it that way. And then whenever the counter is full, it'll send off a signal. to pretty much uh, give you some EXP. And that can all be within the puppet logic or in a microchip. You can put all this stuff within microchips. Just put it in here. Or you can put it inside of the puppet logic. If anything was confusing, just ask me in the comment section below. It may take you a few times to watch the video before you're completely able to understand it, but I promise that it's some pretty easy stuff, pretty easy stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. A lot of it you can learn in 10, 20 minutes or less. This is how you can get a level up EXP system down, system down. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of information. I haven't tested this, but this should pretty much be it. Actually, no, I'll save it. I'll save it for a separate video because I really don't want to confuse you guys with too much information, you know, because, you know, we don't learn everything in one day in school and there's a reason for that. So actually, I changed my mind. We'll do that in a separate video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk more about how the attack variables can equivalent to attack and damage in the next video for an RPG if enough people ask for it. So thank you guys so much and peace out.